So we're going to be talking about the federal home loan banks. The first thing we ought to say is that the name itself uh, may be misleading. Federal doesn't actually mean they're government. Uh, yes, they were created by Congress, but, but they're privately owned, actually, and they don't get federal appropriations. Home loan means, yes, they're very much a part of the housing finance world, but they're, they're important to a lot, a lot more than just home loans. And banks, yes, but not in the sense that you might think of banks. So what, what are they? Um, well, the federal home loan banks are kind of a behind-the-scenes player in the financial system, a, a big one uh, to be sure, but, and, and you can find positive effects of them everywhere you go, but they're not necessarily very flashy about it. By the way, the, there are 12 of them around the country. Uh, the simple way to say it is that the federal home loan banks provide much of the money to local banks that you see local banks using to lend out to consumers and businesses. Now, remember when people borrow from a bank, say to buy a house or a car or start a business, the money that the bank is lending is money that the bank itself borrowed from someone else. And in many, many cases, that someone where the local bank borrowed the money from is a federal home loan bank. So how does that work? Well, it's probably better if we first look at the local lenders, who they are and, and how they're organized. That'll help paint the picture a little bit better. In the um, United States, there are thousands of what we'll call community lending institutions. We'll call them that because in reality, there are many different kinds of local lenders of all sizes and types. You've got your sort of typical small and medium-sized community banks, uh, the first or second or third national bank of such and such down the street. Uh, you have credit unions, big and small, and, and, and uh, state uh, chartered savings institutions. You've got bigger banks with regional and national brand names. Plus, there are insurance companies uh, that lend locally and, and even some specialty things called CDFIs, which are community development uh, financial institutions. But for the sake of keeping this relatively easy uh, and simple um, so that we don't get stuck in the weeds, let's, uh, let's just refer to everyone generically as community financial institutions. And there are thousands of them in the U.S. Uh, everywhere uh, in every state and territory. And the majority, virtually all, belong to at least one federal home loan bank. By belong, I mean they are members, uh, and by members, I mean they, are actually, they actually own the federal home loan bank that they belong to. So in other words, each, that makes each federal home loan bank a cooperative because a cooperative is an organization or a business that's owned by the people who use its services. And typically, uh, a community lending institution belongs to the home loan bank in their, in their own region.